First, though, a pop singer targeted at her downtown Orlando concert last night. Police arrest this man, they say, with a knife for trying to kidnap her. The story is already making national headlines. Police say the man stalked singing star Lana Del Rey all the way to the Amway Center last night. Thanks for joining us. I'm Eric Von Eichen. Glad you're with us. I want to get right out to New Six's Clay Lapard live outside the Amway. So, Clay, how'd they catch him? Eric, police said they were able to apprehend Michael Hunt right around in this area, just a block away from the Amway Center before that concert on Friday night. Police say they first became aware of the possible threats against the singer after they found posts on Hunt's social media. And we found a Facebook page with the same name that has dozens of posts about Lana Del Rey, many of which appear to be cryptic in nature and sometimes threatening toward the singer. Michael Hunt faces charges of aggravated stalking with a credible threat and attempted kidnapping with a weapon after police say they learned Hunt planned to kidnap singer Lana Del Rey. According to detectives, Hunt had posted threats on social media about the singer and had tickets to her concert at the Amway Center Friday night. Detectives say because of the post, Lana Del Rey feared for her safety. We found a Facebook page for a man with the exact same name with these posts about Lana Del Rey saying, quote, forever yours. I'm so sorry I did this to us. I want to see my queen on Friday and from that day forward, our decisions will be as one. And this one made just hours before the concert saying, I'll see you on the other side. Everybody take care of yourself. Officers say they found Michael Hunt about a block away from the arena. We're told he had tickets on him along with a knife. Lana Del Rey has not commented publicly about the incident, but has thanked her fans in Orlando and the Amway Center on Twitter for a high energy concert. Michael Hunt remains locked up in the Orange County Jail without bond as he awaits his next court appearance. And Florida corrections records show that Hunt was released from prison in 2014 and has previously been convicted of a slew of charges, including burglary, forgery, uh, also grand theft, and other drug-related charges. In Orlando, Clay Lapard, News 6.